Hello, everybody. Uh, Abe Safa here with Century 21 Harrelson Group in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about what's happening right now in our real estate market here in town, specifically with oceanfront condos. Uh, so I don't need to tell you the real estate market has been on fire for a couple of years now. Ever since the COVID uh, pandemic, we've seen this great migration of, of people getting out of uh, densely populated cities and moving out into uh, areas with more space and in Horry County, Marble Beach, South Carolina, and the surrounding area has been one of those places where we've seen a lot of demand, a lot of people moving here. You know, so we've seen some crazy, crazy appreciation over the last couple of years when it comes to single family homes, um, and it trickled down all the way to oceanfront condos. So now what we're starting to see is a little bit of a change in the market, um, and, it's, and it's starting off with the oceanfront condos is where we're seeing it uh, more specifically, and that's what I want to focus on in today's video. So I want to talk about, I know I get a lot of calls from owners. I do a lot of condo business here in the town um, asking me, you know, have we peaked? Is it time to sell the oceanfront condos? Um, uh, things like that. So I want to kind of clarify exactly what's going on right now and give you real data so you know exactly uh, specifically what's happening right now in the market. But first, let, let, me, let me set a foundation here of what typically happens in an appreciating market. So for the last couple of years, we've been in an appreciating, aggressively appreciating market. And typically when that happens is, your prime properties, uh, meaning that the properties that are in highest demand, that there's the most number of buyers for, those are the ones that appreciate first. So in our area, it's been single family homes. Um, there's been a lot of demand, a lot of people moving down here. We saw that appreciate first and it, it appreciated at a very high level. Inventory just got super low. When we started running out of homes, the next thing that started appreciating were condos, uh, more specifically condos that were off the ocean front on golf courses, uh, in, in communities and things like that. Those were what people started going to when they couldn't find a home anymore. So they, they transitioned over to that and started buying those. At the same time, people started buying land and just building their own home because they couldn't find something. Finally, oceanfront condos started appreciating and they were the last ones to start going up. Now, there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, the most important reason, which we'll focus on right now, is is oceanfront condos are a discretionary product it's 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 you know it's something that people buy as an investment it's people buy as a luxury item uh for vacation so it's not something that is like a single family homes where you need shelter you need to live somewhere so so it's a discretionary product um and that was the last one so when i say less desirable i don't mean like it's not desirable it's just there's less demand for it less number of buyers for it and it's not something that's a necessity so that was the last thing to start appreciating and really the biggest appreciation that we saw with oceanfront condos really happened between november of last year up until about april of this year of 2022 um so while everything else was on fire everything else was going through the roof month after month the oceanfront condos lagged behind and it finally started appreciating now we saw some really good appreciation so if you have an oceanfront condo and you haven't kept up with what the values are we need to have a conversation because some of them went above and beyond what they were back in 2004, which they were at insane prices back then. Um, 20, 30, 40% appreciation in many condos across the across the entire oceanfront uh, just in those three or four months. Uh, so if you haven't kept up with it, let me know. Give me a call. We'd love to talk to you about it. Anyway, so they finally started appreciating. Now, typically what happens is in the appreciating market, prime properties go up first, secondary, second, third, go up uh, next and then finally the, the least desirable go up last now when the market turns which i think we have begun to do that it reverses so the last properties to appreciate are going to be the first ones to start depreciating now we haven't seen a depreciation in, in oceanfront condo prices just yet okay but that typically just doesn't happen overnight it's not it's not a flip of a switch and all of a sudden prices go down uh, there's a couple of things that have to happen before that. And those are the things that we're starting to see. Uh, for example, inventory is starting to rise. Um, so oceanfront condo inventory as of April 15th, okay? And, and I track these numbers every single day. So every single day I'm going into the MLS, I'm looking to see how many properties are on the market, how many hit the market, how many are under contract. And I look and see how many of those on the market are actually under contract with buyers. Um, so ever since about April 15th, we have started to see inventory appreciate increase uh, day after day. It's starting to go up. I think it's somewhere around 20, 25% more inventory right now in oceanfront condos than there was just a, a month, a month and a half ago. So that's the first time. Now there were buildings, example, like Landmark, uh, example, Myrtle Beach Resort, um, that saw prices that were ridiculously high 
but there was nothing on the market when they were getting those prices. You know, one unit would hit the market. I'd get four or five offers on it in the first couple of hours, and it would sell at full price, if not higher. Now, those buildings and many other buildings in the market, we're seeing seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 properties on the market for sale. So now that those are out there, the buyer has 10, 11 options to choose from. We're not seeing those prices anymore. Um, but it hasn't translated into closed sales just yet. We'll start seeing it in 30, 45 days from now. We'll start seeing, we should start seeing, I should say, lower prices. But the main thing is the inventory is, is really increasing and it's increasing at a, at a rapid level. Um, that's going to be the first sign. We don't know how much higher it's going to get. We're still relatively very low. We're still only sitting at about a one month, a one, 1. 1.2 month supply of condo inventory in the entire market, which is really, really low. Just a neutral market to get back to a neutral market where it's not a seller's market or buyer's market is a six month supply. So we're still very, very low. But we're just not like ridiculously low like we were a month, a month and a half ago with things. We're just selling at any price. I want to I want to share this chart with you real quick. Um, so this is a chart that I, that I ran uh, just a couple of days ago. The blue line, this is just oceanfront condos, right? Um, the blue line is the total number of units that are on the market for sale. This line on the bottom is the number out of those units that are under contract with buyers. And this goes back all the way to July 1st of 2020. You see we're at around 1,500 units on the market, um, somewhere around 400, 375, maybe somewhere in that range were on the contract. So there was plenty of inventory. Uh, while the rest of the market was on fire during that time, homes were selling like crazy. We weren't seeing much appreciation here because you can see the gap. All of this gap right here is units that are available for buyers to choose from. Then all of a sudden, it started getting hotter and hotter, and then the gap started closing. And then here is where we really started seeing some appreciation. Um, right here is where we started seeing the most number of appreciation because inventory was going down at a very rapid level. Pennies were going down a little bit, but that was because there just wasn't enough units on the market. So you see the gap between just stayed really, really tight all the way through here. And right here is about April, beginning of April, April 15th is probably where we saw, in my opinion, we saw the peak of the oceanfront condo market. Now look at what's happened since then. This is really interesting here. Inventory has been going up, up and up and up. And again, these are daily numbers, right? So this is about April 1st, April 10th, maybe somewhere in that ballpark. Look at what's happening. Inventory going up at the same time, right? If the market was still hot, this pending line should also be going with it as well. And it's not. It's going the complete other direction. So to me, this is a big, big red flag right here because look at the gap that's being created already. And we're feeling it. We're feeling it in the offers that I get on my condos right now. They're not as strong as they were two months ago. Uh, people aren't coming in uh, uh, at full asking or above asking anymore. Uh, buyers are being more particular in, in what who they make, what they make offers on. So things like that, we're starting to feel it. And if this gap continues to get bigger, if inventory continues to go up, then we're going to start seeing oceanfront condo prices drop. Now, to me, that's the first sign of a shift in market. So I think we're there. I think it has begun. I think we'll start seeing it reflected in prices 30, 60 days from now. The question is going to be, is it going to, is it going to trickle down to the, um, to the housing market here in town or not? We don't know just yet. It's still too early to predict that. We are seeing a little bit of a slowdown on the housing side, but nowhere near as much as we're seeing on the oceanfront condo side. Now, having said all of that, I still want to point out one thing. Um, we're still at, what, seven, 800 uh, condos on a market, that's still a very, very low number. It's still half of what it was back there, back in, in July of 2020, right? So relatively speaking, it's still very low inventory in our market. So you haven't missed the window yet. Okay. So if you've been thinking about selling, there's still some good opportunities. It's just, you're not going to be able to put it out there at any price that you want. You've got to be really careful on what you price it right now. So if you're talking to agents and, and, and you get, a lot of agents have no clue what's happening in the market, they think it's still hot. They're still going above what the last sales were, thinking that we're still appreciating. We are not appreciating anymore. Um, so be very careful on how you price the, the, your property right now, because if it is a depreciating market, then you're going to be chasing the market. And the longer that you take, the longer that you wait to get a buyer, then the, the price is going to be going down at the same time uh, with you. Now, could this change? Yes. Can we change directions all of a sudden? Yes. But as long as interest rates keep going up, we're at 6% now, okay, and someone buying a, a discretionary product like this, whether it's a second home, whether it's an investment property, there's other fees associated with getting a loan on it right now. 
So it's making it really difficult for a buyer who's financing to come in and buy one of these. If, if we change directions, all of a sudden, you know, we find ourselves in a recession and they start slashing interest rates again, things could change. But if things stay on the path that they're on right now, we're headed towards a growth in inventory. And once that happens, more options out there for buyers, supply and demand. We're going to see uh, con oceanfront condo prices drop. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. If you agree with me, disagree with me, just mention it in the comments below. Please, I would love to get your feedback and see what, what your thoughts. If you want more specific uh, information about your, your property, um, the building that you're in, the market, whatever you need, you know, I'm, I'm available. Give me a call. I would love to chat. I love having these conversations. I, I look at these numbers every single day, but would love some feedback from you. So kind of let me know what, what your thoughts are, what you think. And uh, if you ever need anything, please reach out. Uh, thank you all for watching.